Hi, Eric Backer here again from Candida Crusher. I've got another FAQ for you. This is FAQ number six. How do I know your Candida Crusher program is going to work? Why would it be any better than any other programs for yeast infection I've tried? Well, only you can be the judge of that. I can't be, but I can tell you I have been working with my program now for over 20 years involving tens of thousands of patients. And I can tell you the program does work. And in my clinical experience, seeing patients for many years on end, you tend to tweak and fine tune a program. And you tend to use what works and reject what doesn't work. But I've always found that there are about three types of patients that I tend to see with yeast infections. One patient tends to recover quite quickly. They tend to follow the recommendations, they follow the diet, they follow the lifestyle changes that I recommend, and they recover quite okay, usually within three to four months. The second group of patients tend to recover more slowly. They will try some recommendations, they tend to be quite busy with their life, they take supplements sporadically, they return occasionally for follow-up visits, they don't take things too seriously, perhaps because their symptoms aren't bad enough, as category number one. They do recover in the end. Many of them do turn out to be a category one patient, and they will eventually recover when they've learned many lessons. Category three don't recover that well at all. These are often people after a quick fix. These are the people that fall for scams like cure your yeast infection in, in 20 hours or scams like that. They just want to treat symptoms and get rid of symptoms and ignore causes. About 8 to 10 percent of patients I see fall in category 3. I see them once, I don't see them again. That's fine. We call them doctors. They tend to move from one practitioner to another. So why would my program be different from any other program that perhaps that you've looked at on the internet or in a book? For example, I offer eight different home tests that you can perform at home, and I like you to do two weekly uh, testing intervals, sort of like you know self-testing. So I've given you a home testing tracker in my Candida Crusher book as well. I like you also to track the severity of your, your of your symptoms over three to four months, to give me an indication on which way you know of the severity your symptoms are heading, if they're improving or if they're getting worse. So I'm a big believer in test and measure. If you put a good protocol into place, you follow the recommendations, you should get the right outcome. If you don't, we're going to look for the hidden causes, which I cover uh, quite deeply in my book. So that's a little bit about my program. So I hope that answers your question, why is my program going to work? G'day, Eric Backer, naturopath. I want to talk today about a condition which many women tend to suffer with, a condition that I've been contact with on many occasions by women who would really love to get rid of this condition. And I'm sure many of you looking at this web page right now uh, may well be familiar with this condition. It's called vaginal thrush or a yeast infection. It's more common than you think. And a couple of weeks ago, a lady spoke with me on Skype and said, Eric, I've had this for a while now, and can you tell me what are the consequences if I don't get rid of my infection? What could happen to me if I just ignore it and treat it with things like monostat or it keeps on recurring? And I'm sure that many uh, of you women watching this will have had recurring vaginal uh, yeast infections and probably think nothing of them. And think, well, it's just a bit of an irritation down there, a bit of an itch, and uh, it'll probably go away on its own accord. Now, in some cases, it will go away on its own accord, but in many cases, it won't, and it'll be chronic and recurring. So what do you do? Do you go back to the doctor and keep taking monostat, fluconazole? What do you do if you can't get rid of this yeast infection? Do you just keep relying on symptomatic treatment, hoping one day it will go away forever? Hoping that the pain's going to go, the embarrassing odour and the itching? It won't go away. In some cases it will. In a small percentage of cases, a vaginal yeast infection will disappear in its own right, but in many cases it will not go away. And it can be chronic and recurring. And it can last for many, many years. Some patients I see have had this condition for 10, 15, even 20 years, and it just doesn't seem to go away. The consequences can be quite severe for a chronic yeast infection. Think about it. They can be quite severe. 
Why would you keep on having a symptom that's causing you so much discomfort and pain? It could even cost you your relationship. It's really worth getting rid of this yeast infection. And for this reason, I've written a whole section in my book, Chapter 5, on how to get rid of these chronic yeast infections. I've helped many women get rid of these problems. And a lot of the tips in this chapter are priceless and are absolutely worth the cost of the book alone. One of the things that you may get as a consequence from a chronic yeast infection is endometriosis. It's a condition I've written about at length in my book. There's plenty of research. Some people have approached me and said, Eric, this is not true. You're speaking a lot of nonsense. Or you go and do the research and you'll find endometriosis is linked with yeast infections in many cases. <clears throat> and endometriosis can even be linked with infertility. I'm not saying that yeast infections cause infertility. But what I am saying is many cases of endo have been linked with chronic vaginal yeast infections. So doesn't it pay to get more involved in preventative medicine to get rid of an embarrassing, itchy, smelly problem now or sooner rather than later or keep living with this chronic, awful problem that's causing you so much discomfort? So think about it. If you want a solution, I've written extensively in my book Candida Crusher about this solution. Have a listen to the one of the audio testimonials of a lady who got rid of her yeast infection using my method. You'll find it on this page just down below. This is a real case. And there are many more of these cases going up. I've had phenomenal success with these vaginal infections. So if you're serious about beating the infection, you read chapter 5. You put my protocol into place. If it doesn't work, you let me know. You'll get a refund of my book and you'll certainly get some personal attention from me because I'm convinced that if you really follow the protocol properly and you really do what it takes to beat this thing, you'll finally beat it. And then you've got rid of that embarrassing situation that you've got down there. And it can make a huge difference to the quality of your life. So take my word for it. Do not ignore a chronic yeast infection because the consequences can be severe as they can with any problem that you tend to ignore. Thank you.